today we are going to talk about political correctness. Um, and I do have a definition that we will place on the screen and I'll read it out loud at the same time. So political correctness, the avoidance often considered as taking to extremes of forms of expression or action that are perceived to exclude, marginalize, or insult groups of people who are socially disadvantaged or discriminated against. And just to let you know, we're at Qdoba in Flint Township. And, Yay! Okay? Um, so yeah, what are your thoughts on PC? PC, I, political correctness, just an abbreviation. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I feel if there's too much political correctness, things that need to be talked about won't be talked about. Um, but at the same time, I'm all about respecting people, especially people of marginalized groups. Um, but for me, it's kind of a, it's a tough subject to talk about. Um, it's like, like I asked Gia, I was like, well, is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? And Gia said, well, it's a neutral thing. And I'll let her expand on that. But for me, it's like... We don't want to offend. I don't. I personally don't want to offend anyone. Uh, but I think if I think there should be a general standard of political correctness, and that political correctness is just not being like an able. Uh, you know, not calling. I know, not calling women. You know, not saying bitches, you're, yeah, cunts, whores, or sluts, you're gonna don't say you're, you're gonna grab them by the pussy or whatever. Grab them by the dick. Yeah, I think that's. Everyone understands that there's a general level of political correctness, PC, that should be endured by all peoples in government. Um, too much, I think, then people are just not really being real and things just aren't really being talked about. Um, but Gio, what do you? Oh. Um, I agree with a lot of what Courtney had to say. Um, I feel like political correctness can be neutral. It can be good and it can be bad. It can be to the extremes on both sides. Um, I feel like you should re you should have respect for people. I don't have to like you, but I should have enough dignity and respect for myself to respect you. But I don't have to like you. <laughs> um, also, Courtney brought this up while we were at the gym earlier, the difference between acceptance and tolerance. And I'll let her, you know, go into more detail about that. But I should re I should be able to respect you, but I don't have to agree with you. I don't have to kiss your ass. And I don't have to act like I like you when I don't. But I should have enough common sense, courtesy, respect for myself to respect you. Um, I feel like you shouldn't go around just being blatantly ignorant and disrespectful and rude and a bigot. Um, but on the flip side, People need, I feel like, personally, it's gotten to the point where everything is hypersensitive. Everything's just to the, someone touches you and oh my God, you know? And it's like, you can't even talk about stuff or ask questions without coming off like you're being a bigot or closed-minded or rude. And it's like, if someone is generally trying to get information so they're not ignorant, you shouldn't be cussing them out. But I also understand how it's a thin line you never really know if a person is actually generally uninformed or just a straight up asshole. It's hard to tell. Um, I do agree with Gia on the hypersensitive sensitivity. Um, and I hate feeding into that right wing stereotype that liberals are just a bunch of whiny babies and you know we're too sensitive. But it's like, damn. You know, are people too sensitive on the left? And people who are liberals? Sometimes I think so. I know a lot of people who are who are extremely sensitive, and I actually shared a meme on Facebook that was a joke. And you know, I really just someone chewed me out for it in, in a respectful way, but it was a joke, and I apologize for it. And I, 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 looking back, I understand how it could offend people, but it's just things like that. You know, everyone takes situations so to heart and everyone is an SJW to the extreme. And what is an SJW? An SJW is a social justice warrior. Okay? Social justice, it's a good thing. We love it, we crave it, we work for it. But I think 
those who are so extreme with their social justice activism, they, those extreme people make it us, or people who are just like-minded, realists, right, who are actually critically working in our communities and trying to achieve social justice, that, they make us look fat. Um, so there's that, that hypersensitivity thing. I don't know what's going to solve that. Um, it's something I've noticed and something I've experienced personally from my peers. Um, now I, you know, it's not like I didn't censor myself before, but now it's to a whole new level where I'm like, I don't know if I should even speak right now yeah. because I don't know if I'm going to offend someone. You don't someone. even know if you can write a status, tweet something, share a meme, a picture, or even say things. Yeah. Because you don't want to come off as ignorant or a bigot, racist, sexist, mm -hmm. homophobic, classes, ageist, ableist. I don't want to come off like that. But then at the same time, it's, like, can it's we... not fair that people can't even talk without someone getting upset. And it's like, after a while, it really dampers conversation. And no one's really going to learn anything if they can't even say shit. And, and there's... Like Gia said earlier, there is a fine line. There is there a, is between inquiry or wanting to understand and just straight out saying some messed up stuff. Like saying that you hate this one marginalized groups and all people are this way and blah blah blah. Like there's a there's there's a fine line. Okay. Conversation is good. We should encourage conversation because conversation leads to understanding. If you can't talk to people, you will never understand them. Um and people like to think that change can happen through not talking and just yelling or, you know, protesting and doing all this stuff. At the end of the day, you have to sit down and talk with people. Yes. Because at the end of the day, we're all humans. And I think it's a lot different when you can sit down with someone, look them, look them in the mm -hmm. eyes, and have a full adult grown conversation. Because mm -hmm. honestly, we can sit here and Facebook argue all day. But, but that's not going to get us anywhere. It's, that's not effective dialogue. Sharing memes is not going to elect <laughs> someone as president. It's just, this conversation reminds me of when, uh, earlier videos when we were talking about Bernie Sanders and just like the whole election. That's, what's, that's what that reminds me of. Um, but I wanted to go back to what Gia mentioned about acceptance and tolerance. Um, I think people are becoming a little confused on what those two terms mean um so basically i don't have to accept you but i will tolerate you because i know that's what's best um and what i what i mean by that is if you're religious i'm not going to accept your religious views okay because i because i don't agree <laughs> it I, is what it is because, not, <laughs> because i don't agree one i will not accept that but i will tolerate it if you want to pray i go to a school muslims are praying everywhere I'm not Muslim. I'm not even religious. Do I accept that? Do I do I think that's I'm not saying that their right to pray is bad. I'm I'm full all out for religious expression. But I'm not accepting their religious views. I'm not. But I am tolerating them. So there's a big difference. Like I don't have to like you. Like Gia said, I don't have to and like that, you. And that's the big issue I feel like people are so concerned about everyone kissing their ass and liking them. And guess what? There's 8 billion people plus on this planet. Everyone's not going to like you, and that's fine. You're not here to be liked by everybody. Jeez. Case <laughs> in point. There's Republicans. I can tolerate you, but I don't accept your bullshit-ass views, just like you don't accept mine half the time. So it is what it is, but I can respect you as a person and tolerate you. And, and I feel like, you know, let us know what you think. Yeah. Are you for political correctness? Are you against it? Are you neutral? What is your take on this whole map? Yeah, and I also wanted to comment. It seems like, and I told Gia this the other day, every time we get a notification, I get kind of scared internally because every notification we get is someone who's, who is, oh. <laughs> let's go with Derek Green. I'm just kidding. Oh. Every, every time we get a comment, it's usually from someone who does not identify as being a millennial so they're of an, they're either of the baby boomer age group so on and so forth and they're always really aggressive and well i wouldn't ask a millennial anything blah 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 okay 
I'm addressing those who aren't millennials right now. The purpose of this channel is for millennials and non-millennials to have a dialogue, to understand. We may not accept each other, but we should tolerate each other. And respect each other. And respect each other and not leave mean or rude comments. And that's what's so funny about it. These are grown people who are 40, 50 plus <laughs> leaving these types of comments, but then talking, generalizing us millennials as being immature and ignorant and all this other stuff, but yet we're not the ones cussing people out in comment boxes at 40 plus years old. So Go figure. <laughs> that's something that we've noticed and it's sad. Like every time we get a notification now, I'm like, okay, what is this? What is this person going to criticize us for? What are what bad things are they going to say about me um, or Gia? So those who aren't millennials who are watching right now, let us know. Please just have a conversation. Stop being so judgmental and angry towards us. We are here to have a dialogue. We are inviting you, you who are watching, we are inviting you to have a dialogue with us that is constructive and efficient and gets to the root of your problem. Let's have discussions about why you hate millennials so much. Right. And don't just sit there and say it's because we're lazy because I'll bring up some stats real yeah, quick that'll that throw your, that'll blow your mind. Mm -hmm. So it's not, so if you wanna, if, if there's certain things, if you wanna address certain stereotypes, we are here for you to do that. We are here to build a gap between these age, age groups. Um, and if you're not interested in doing that, or if you don't want to witness us talking about things like that, then our channel isn't for you. Um, but hopefully people are going to be willing to kind of merge the, the, the divide. And um, that's, I know, one of my goals for this channel, and I'm sure Gia feels the same way. So Yes. But that has <laughs> been our talk on PC political correctness. Let us know what you think. If you have any video ideas or topics you would like us to speak about, please leave comments. Hit us up on Ask a Millennial on Twitter, Facebook. Email us, and we're out of here. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a great day wherever you are.